In just about a half hour, the Providence City Council will hold its final vote on a zoning change. The change would pave the way for the construction of Rhode Island's tallest skyscraper, the Hope Point Tower. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to Mayor Jorge Lorza about what he wants done before he gives his stamp of approval. Steph joins us live at City Hall with the latest. Steph. Well, that final city council vote on the Fain Tower is at 530. We are expecting it to pass, but there is still a question of whether Mayor Jorge Alorza will sign or veto the ordinance. The controversial Hope Point Tower has made it through a lot of hurdles to get to this final vote, where the city council will decide whether to make a zoning change to raise the maximum building height on parcel 42 of the old 195 land along Dyer Street so New York developer Jason Fain can build a residential skyscraper. For a building of this size, it's going to reshape our skyline. The city should be able to decide and approve what goes forward and what doesn't. Mayor Jorge Alorza telling Eyewitness News he'll only sign this zoning change if the developer agrees to give Providence final approval over the tower's design and makes a public contribution to the city. If I get the assurances, I'm fine with this going forward. If I don't get these assurances, then sure, I'll veto it. Supporters of this project include the Building Trades Union. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to build an iconic building in the city of Providence and bring economic development and people back into the city. But opponents who held a news conference on Monday say spot zoning is not a good practice. We want to bring employment opportunities for our hardworking local laborers, but those opportunities should adhere to our city's current zoning policies. And tonight at this 5:30 meeting is the second and final vote on this zoning change. The, the tally at the first vote was eight to five with two abstentions. If the vote tally remains the same, that is not enough votes to override a potential veto if the mayor decides to veto this ordinance. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.